Hello, this is Dr. Jeetan Bendo for Physician Perspectives. I'd like to talk about something seriously important. It's called the frailty syndrome. This is an introduction. Frailty, as in brittleness, is an important but incompletely understood clinical concept in geriatric medicine. There is no internationally agreed definition, but a consensus view is emerging in which the phenotype of frailty is considered to develop as a consequence of a decline in several physiological systems, which collectively results in a vulnerability to sudden health state changes triggered by relatively minor stress events, such as a fall. So, age-related changes to multiple physiological systems are fundamental to the development of frailty particularly the neuromuscular, neuroendocrine and immunological systems. The phenotype of frailty includes sarcopenia, that is loss of muscle mass and muscle strength, anorexia, osteoporosis, fatigue, risk of falls and poor physical health. Frailty syndrome or frailty cycle starts off with chronic undernutrition, where inadequate protein intake as well as energy intake along with micronutrient deficiencies ends up with sarcopenia or loss of muscle mass that clubs along with aging and weight loss. So one ends up with low muscle strength and power, low oxygen utilization, low resting metabolic rate, low walking speed and low activity. So basically a person just gets into a syndrome where there is not enough strength to move around or even to support oneself even with a simple fall. On the basis of the resulting frailty phenotype it is possible to identify older people who are frail and such people are predisposed to adverse health consequences particularly falls and delirium following relatively minor stressor events. Frailty is an important and common clinical condition associated with significant adverse health outcomes, including the development of disability in older age. Now, what is important is not to look at someone who is older and only fix the bones, for example, for osteoporosis, or only fix sarcopenia for muscle. But one has to look at the individual uh, as, a, as a whole and has to be treated with all organs and all systems taken into consideration improving muscle, improving bone, improving nutrition and mental health. Thank you.